we need to create an object in Blender and get it and its customized texture over to Unity. How on earth do we do that? Well, it's not really straightforward, so we're creating a quick video to show you how to do this. I have an empty project in Unity right now, and I've got an empty Blender. In this case, I'm using Blender 2.70 Alpha. I know some people have different success with different versions of Blender, but this happens to be what I've got, and it seems to work okay. Default scene, I've got a cube on it. That's great. I want to go ahead and create and apply a texture to this cube. So in order to do that, I'm going to go over here to the materials item. I've got a material and I'm going to go over to the texture. I'm going to make this into a image or a movie for the texture. Then I'm going to make this a UV mapped texture. I'm going to split the window and I'm going to create a UV view. Now if I go into edit mode, that is I hit the tab on the key and I'm editing the cube, I can go into mesh, UV unwrap and unwrap it. This is an awful unmapping of the cube because the computer doesn't know where to make seams in order to actually unwrap the cube. We need to fix that for the computer. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to mark some seams. I'm going, I'm in the edit mode, I'm going to switch so that I can edit the edges. So I'm going down here and hitting edge select. I'm selecting edges that I'm going to mark seams. That is, that I'm going to allow the computer to actually cut this thing apart. I can hit the space bar and type in mark seam. Or you hit like control 6 on the number pad, I think. This allows it to cut apart the cube at the location. So I've created three cuts that it can do. I can select everything again by hitting A a couple times, UV unwrap, and now it can unwrap it a little bit better. It still looks awful. So let's fix that a little bit. I'm going to let it cut here, here. Well, let's see. Then maybe here and here. I'm just guessing you're going to have to spend your own time in order to figure this out. Mark seam, select all, mesh, UV unwrap. Hey, there we go. It is now unwrapped. I'm going to flip back over Unity. And underneath assets, I want to figure out where my assets are being stored. I'm going to right click, show an explorer. Okay, this is where the assets are being stored. I'm going to copy this directory. Actually, I'm going to go into assets and then copy the assets directory. I'm going to flip back to Blender file, save as, cube dot blend, save as blender file. I've saved it. Now if I flip back over to Unity, I should see the cube appear. And I can throw the cube onto the scene. No texture yet, but I know I've got it on the scene. I'm going to flip back to Blender. And now I'm going to go into UV, export UV layout, and cube.png. So it's going to export an image that's ready for me to draw on it. Then I'm going to go back here to assets. I'm going to take that PNG, and I'm just going to edit it in whatever program that I want. In this case, I'll just use paint. It's terrible, but it works. I'm going to create a bigger brush maybe this marker, and start drawing on it. Got an O here, X here. There we go. I have my image. I'm going to save that image. Close this, come back here, and in the materials now, I'm going to open the image I just created. And now that I've unwrapped it and I've set the texture, if I hit F12, I can see it's rendered with the texture on there. Excellent. Save it. Flip back over to Unity. And I can see the texture, but it's not on the cube. Why is it not on the cube? Because down over here, underneath material, it still doesn't know that's the texture I want. I'm going to take this texture, drag it on, 
Bingo, there we go. My cube actually has the texture on it. And I can play it, and I'm all set. Not too much to it. There's a few key steps, though. I need to unwrap it correctly, and I need to make sure that I take that texture and move it over to the Material tab inside of Unity so it knows that's the texture that I want. 